What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Fishing in Milligan. Today we're going to be delving into my whole arsenal for 2023. So you guys stay tuned. Okay, so before we go any further, I want you guys to check out our brand new Fishigan Milligan merch. That's right, brand new Fishigan Milligan merch. Also a brand new Fishigan Milligan logo, if you guys didn't notice. If you guys would like to support the channel, let me know what I can do to get a brand new Fishigan Milligan shirt in your hands. We have lots of colors. Uh, we have white, we also have this tan. Here's the brand new design right here. So that's the back right there and it comes uh, with a hood so you guys can uh, get that protection from the sun. Also here is the front long sleeve as well. And also, not printed yet, but we're working on it, some brand new Fishigan Milligan hats. And these are some really nice uh, G&G hats. And we're gonna be putting the Fishigan Milligan logo on the side. I have this one right here, a tritone color. We also have the maroon for all you Aggie fans out there, or maybe just maroon fans. And all of these are uh, snapbacks, guys. And we also have this really cool, I don't even know what color this is, like Bahama water blue. Real pretty color. Um, also, uh, snapback as well. If I do say so myself, uh, the tan shirt and this hat go together perfectly. So, uh, we have white, we have tan. Uh, girls, we even have pink. We also have an ice blue color, a bright green color as well. So you guys let me know uh, down in the comments below what you guys would like. Also, you know, shoot me an email, fishiganmilligan at gmail.com. And we also have a website as well, fishiganmilligan.com. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. Let's get into today's video. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna look at this reel here. It's a Shimano SLX uh, BFS. And I'm gonna hit something in this tiny room. This is a really cool reel. I got it spooled up with a Veravos line. Uh, this is the 1.2 Gohm. I'm always going with a 20 pound, uh, I'm always going with 20 pound mono, uh, tied to an Alberto knot or maybe a uni to uni knot. Throwing either a weedless hook like this from Salty Head or also uh, one of these bad boys right here. Okay, so on this first setup, um, this is like my very light setup. This is a seven foot light action um, murky water rod made by Jacob Bettis right here locally. Uh, I know the dude guys, great dude. Uh, if you guys want one of those, uh, be sure to go down in the description below and check out murky water rods. So this is a really cool setup, 8.2 uh, to one gear ratio. So it's gonna be fast, pick up a lot of line, a uh, very thin line. Uh, it's gonna be good for casting your lighter stuff you know, your 1 16th, your 1 8th. So, uh, really cool setup for a lot of my lighter stuff. Okay, so my next setup is actually a spinning setup. I don't have a lot of spinning. Uh, most of my stuff is gonna be bait caster just because that's what I uh, prefer uh, to use. Uh, but no knock on spinning. I will use spinning uh, a lot of times. Uh, this has a salty head, jig head, 3 16th, already ready to go. Uh, this is also a seven foot light action rod. Uh, believe it or not, guys, this is actually the first rod that Jacob made for me. Um, so kind of the story behind uh, Murky Water Rods. I was fishing with my buddy, uh, JC. Fishing with JC, he's another YouTuber. You guys you should be sure to check him out. And uh, he was like, have you guys ever, you ever heard of Murky Water Rods? I was like, no, man, never, never used them, never heard of them. Jacob, uh, the owner of Murky Water Rods, uh, reached out to me and he said, hey, uh, my buddy JC had told me that you... Um, you know, had heard about my rods and he's like, uh, I'm I'm a fan of the channel. I've watched your channel for a long time. Anyway, so he said, uh, I'd like for you to try a rod out. Tell me what you think. I said, okay, sure. So uh, he went ahead and made me this rod, handed it to me. I tried it out and uh, man, I fell in love with it. And I caught some really nice fish. Uh, there's actually a video of me catching a 26 inch trout, which was um, uh, the biggest I had caught in a while. Just fell in love with it. Really cool, um, awesome colors. I mean, custom rod and at an affordable price too. So you guys uh, be sure to check out Murky Water Rods. Uh, and a little bit about the reel. So this is a Suffix 832 line. I wanna say this is 20 pound test. This is a Daiwa Fuego uh, 2500. So this is gonna be the faster gear ratio. I haven't had any problems with it, done well in the salt water. Uh, I think it's like a hundred dollar reel, so. Um, I'm not sponsored by Daiwa by any means, but they make a lot of really good stuff. So uh, you guys be sure to check 
uh, this reel out if you're in the market for you know a hundred dollar reel so anyways moving on to the next so my next setup is um, the latest rod that he's actually made me uh, but I'm actually gonna show you guys one more setup after this uh, just because it's my favorite one uh, but anyways I'll save the best for last but this rod is kind of a little bit of a it was kind of a jump in the adventurous, uh, kind of out of the norm. Um, I wanted something that was gonna match this reel, so I got this reel from a good friend of mine over in Louisiana, his name is uh, A.B. Keating, and um, he had two of these sitting around his garage, and I fished with him this past summer. I'm actually gonna be posting that video really soon. That was a lot of fun, uh, fishing with him over there in Louisiana. Uh, but he had these two reels sitting here, and I said, you know what, I'd like to take them off your hands, so I kind of, built this whole rod off of this reel right here. So as you can tell, this is a lose uh, reel. This is the tournament light. Uh, they don't make these anymore, it's discontinued. Um, it's got the EVA foam and, and uh, cork. It's got the carbon uh, handle, so it's a lot lighter. It's a seven, five to one gear ratio. It also has the suffix 832 braid here in 20 pound. I went ahead and got the reel seat to match, so you can see the reel seat is carbon fiber. Uh, to match that and then the line is baby blue so uh, and it has this gold accents here so I went ahead and and did that uh, over here as well and Jacob did an awesome job making some really cool accents on here and probably the coolest thing about this rod is it comes with awesome recoil guides so we we spared no expense on this one this this is something really special um, it's a uh, this is a 6.6 six, uh, medium, so it's going to be a little bit heavier than what I'm used to uh, throwing. Uh, normally, I'm throwing like a medium light to light action out there uh, for the trout and reds. Uh, but this is made for this right here, guys. This was made for topwaters and for corkies. So that is why it's a little bit heavier. Um, I also went with the full cork handle which is something that I don't normally do, uh, but I wanted it to, to match up with this, and I kind of wanted to go traditional um, on this. Um, I love this rod on the Murky Water Media Day. We went out and I threw this rod for the first time, caught some nice reds with it, um, had a lot of fun. Um, man, this is probably like the nicest I'll ever go. So uh, this is a little bit out of the norm. I don't go like this fancy most of the time, but I decided, you know what, why not? Let's do it. You gotta go, you only live once and you gotta go crazy at least one time in your life. So um, here it is. Last but certainly not least, um, this is probably my favorite setup that I have. Um, if I only had to have one setup that I could use for the rest of my life, it'd probably be this setup or something very similar to this. So. First of all, this has my favorite reel on it, and this is the Luz Custom Light. This reel right here is out of this world. It's super light, guys. It's under five ounces, and I've had a blast with this reel, and I have not had any problems with it at all. So this is the Luz Custom Light. So the story goes is that my, my wife surprised me with this reel. Um, I had been hinting that I wanted it for a long time, and um, it was Christmas day and we had already gone to the in-laws and gone to the outlaws. I'm just kidding. <laughs> the, all of the Christmas stuff, we were, about, we were about to go to sleep and she surprised me with a little box on the couch. Like it was like 10 o'clock at night. And she's like, you forgot one present. And I opened it up and it was a Lou's custom light. Um, and man, I have fallen in love with this thing. Had a great, many great videos fishing with this. It's light, it's durable, it's handled the salt water really well. Haven't had any problems with it. I do have the suffix 832 braid on here. This is the 20 pound. Haven't had any problems with it. Um, so yeah, really great reel, uh, highly recommend it. Really small, look at that, fits in your palm. And I don't have like huge hands. I got probably like medium, medium to medium large hands when it comes to glove size. But look at the way that fits in there. That's just like awesome. Fits in your palm really well, super light, and it pairs up really well with this murky water rod. So this is actually my murky water 
protein rod. So this, this has a special place in my heart because it is, it is when I said yes to be on the Murky Water team. I had tried out the rods, used them, uh, put them to the test, and um, man, they just passed everything. Every test I had, they passed them. So um, I was offered uh, by, by Jacob and those guys to be on the team, and, and I said yes to the dress, so to speak. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this has a special place in my heart. It has the cork uh, split grip, really cool work. Um, the high school I work for has green and orange as the colors, so I went uh, with that as my color scheme here. Um, chartreuse is kind of what I went with, but you know, it's kind of green, greenish, orange-ish. So very bright green, very bright uh, orange, um, split grip there, cork handle. And I don't know what it is, I just really like cork. Um, it, it holds up well, it's light, it handles the, the slick uh, the, of trout really well. And here you got the split uh, reel seat. I had any problems with this at all. It's been a dream. It's casted like a dream. Um, and then we have the work there. This, so this rod is a medium, light, moderate, fast. Um, I went a little bigger on these guides. Um, if you get uh, rods made uh, with Jacob, you can, um, you could really ask him for, for anything you want. I mean, it's a custom rod, um, starting at one, starting at 189. And um, I, I told him that I wanted some bigger, uh, bigger guides, so I went with that. And uh, man, it's awesome. It's a uh, medium light. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Medium light, uh, moderate fast, and it's a six nine. So um, I have a six six. I have a six nine. Um, the spinning is a seven foot light, and then the the one with the Shimano SLX DFS is also a seven foot light as well. So that is my arsenal for 2023. Um, you guys be on the lookout for uh, more stuff coming. Um, check out my videos. If you guys have any questions, uh, put them down in the comments below. And I'd love to answer um, any questions that you guys have as far as if you're new to inshore fishing, if you're new to saltwater fishing, um, you gotta be careful with what you're using out there. And um, cause if you take out any old reel, it, it'll mess up really quick. So you gotta be careful as to what you use. So also new to the channel is Salt Strong. If you guys have not heard about Salt Strong. So crazy thing is, is that only 18% of the people who watch this channel are subscribed. That means there's 82% of y'all who are not yet subscribed, which is just like crazy to me. So um, if you like what we're doing here, smash the like button, smash the subscribe button. Hit the bell notification so you guys don't miss another video here on Fishigan Milligan.